What's going on, my name is Chris, and welcome back to some more Dungeons and Dragons for some reason. We're going to the training ground. That sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Oh. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc uh -oh. who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast you die. Urgle's acid blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet <laughs> and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit! You see Hardcore. why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive war Just hammer. Just thing. All yours. Uh, fatal cleave, knee slam, pommel strike. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. Let's end this. You Get swing your class. great axe <laughs> downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Yum yum. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. I look like Chloe punched her for a it's second. It's going well. Jeez. What about the loot? Well. As the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survives. Oh, what a waste of time. Dang. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Barb, the Goodness. elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. Thanks. What's next? Yay, Barb. Let's go. Let's just leave the game time. now after all that. You enter the tent to find <clears throat> Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, uh -oh. sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine minotaur black cloak, gripping a two handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an no, no, you're weak. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer uh -oh. of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are What about are the fire acid base, one? Except for, you know, there we go. acid blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Arb, what'll it be? Uh, knee slap, annihilation strike, brutal punch, wrathful rush. Well, let's annihilate him, I guess. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds bosses. Oh, okay. So Chloe isn't making these up. These actual things. That's bad, right? We all probably. Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock. Collapsing onto the ground uh -oh. <laughs> in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Uh oh. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, uh oh. Legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the oh, ankles. No. This game is awesome. This game is awesome. <laughs> My feet? Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Uh oh. oh shit! Well, I, was not I told you this is my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Well, that's my kind of Durgaron point. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp. Stop it, boy! Stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Dance to prolong. Get courage. Uh. Jump in front of. Jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. It's kind of pointless, though. I mean, thanks, Barb. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, oh, no, just thrusting right madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. So what is it, one? Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. I didn't even say how it Durgaron was! Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Oh, I mean, Barb. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. 
What do you do? I die. Swing for the head. Swing for his arm. Yeah, let's go for I his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll ahead a hit. You're almost dead. 20. 20. Fuck yes. <laughs> you bring your axe down in a uh -oh. wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast... Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, <laughs> you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Yay! Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Barb is dead. Elmon should probably be dead too, I though. I feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was it's hard fun. to believe this is the brother Check of the uh, I drew. Nathan Bully. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. D does he? I mean, it's a good sketch, I guess. Cool. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. That was fun. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the game, nerds. <laughs> well, that was oddly Beauty fun. Check. Next stop, chemistry okay. class. Seems Joy. Oh, no, I was gonna say, it seems people only moved around a bit. Not really. Alright. Well. It's time to do I mean, go to chemistry. Burpee. Whoa. <laughs> Fades out of existence. Good, good, good. Anti drug poster. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. That was actually kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Look. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Mole people! Is that Rachel? Oh, good. You're here. So those tattoos? What is that? What are those weird dots on our arms? They look kind of like an eye with a with like an eyebrow. It's very, very weird. Very, I don't know what you're doing there, Rachel, but it's strange and I don't like it. I don't like it! I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayer. Oh, she's a drama girl. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues. Uh oh. Hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, Failure. don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's Jesus. been very accommodating. It's a high school and play. to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... Why'd my Rachel affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to Why see who be your man. I'm I confused. mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Uh-oh! The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? I don't know. God, Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Oh, snap. Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. I don't know. Later. See you happened. later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen <laughs> now. <laughs> I wonder if teachers are really like, oh, what's my next class? Oh, no, freshmen. No. God, anything but freshmen. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, I'm oh glad. could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Gonna... Uh, I like the, how Chloe yeah. is actually like, what the hell's sure. going on? Because I mean, if like Chloe just accepted this, and that would be really weird and kind of out of character. Okay. So. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't Aww. like fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Ra will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent. Rachel is Amber. that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it drama lab uh, for nothing. Victoria and Amber, I guess. Comment. <clears throat> well, they'll get yelled at for taking too long what to grab to the say? belt. What to say? Bitter much. Playing the part Not of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Nice. Did you say anything else? Suck a D, VC. Good old Victoria. Uh, let's look at it. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Hmm. What is this? Hey now. Sharing is caring. Pencils for stage manager only, aka Steph. Pooter! To internet or not to internet. Of course we're going to internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Okay, this is the same thing. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Remember Andrew playing Prospera, a newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber. Oh, she's a freshman too. Interesting. Blue the Doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanc from Tanessa Williams, a streetcar named Desiree. Is our desire probably desire uh, other interests include athletics debate team boosters fundraising uh, local history and nature rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of broadway and the silver screen of hollywood well that doesn't happen nathan playing nathan prescott playing caliban uh, a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family of arcadia bay nathan hopes the uh, performance of the tempest will only follow his legacy of the prescott name of blackwell academy playing caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore uh, who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with his many, many friends, many, many friend friends. Holy crap, there's a lot of things here. Dana Ward playing Miranda, a sophomore. Dana has performed in two other productions of Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go Bigfoot, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. Hayden Jones playing Fernandez. Uh, the show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Black Hole Academy's drama club. He auditioned on a dare, as it turns out, it was actually uh, really dick's acting. A sophomore, uh, his other talents include playing sports, herbals, and taking long walks in the woods. I guess smoking down weeds. Juliet Watson playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests uh, include journalism and social activism, and she's very excited to be debuting this spring at a world Ariel. The uh, ca Capri. Cap Cap gas and a powerful spear per, uh, Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical by, uh, bidding. Travis Keaton directing. Uh, Adventure Broadway. Travis uh, Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts, mentor, and friend. Um, he hopes this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never forget his motto. Ares Gatia Artis. Good, good, good. Okay, last one. <laughs> Stage manager Steph Gingrich. Tech crew Adam, uh, Gina Yao, Stella Hill, Jason Redford. Sound design Brooke Scott. Program cover poster Evan Harris. Special thanks to Principal Wells, Rose Amber, Caroline Prescott, Helen Christensen, Bern <laughs> Bernadette Hoida, Samuel Taylor, especially the Prescott Foundation. All right, that last one probably wasn't necessary, but. Probably not that was really necessary to read, but there we go. This poster definitely says Quell something. It says Qualia Dane. Get literate, punk. Dish. I guess the press donation doesn't cover this. <laughs> Good shit. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for should be life is drama. Drama's life! Sweet call. Oh, Pepe? <laughs> what? Is Pepe in this game? The hell? Rachel Amber. Drama star and 
Was that actually her? I guess angel? so. I still can't believe that was her last night. Chloe has a crush. Oh, what did you do? Halo for Rachel, horns on Nathan. Do we do both? Why not both? It's a long ass time for a Halo. I like how like crazy she goes. Save She's still like dramatic. Get some ink. Here we go. Achievement unlocked. Dramalis Personicus. Definitely an improvement. Sony. That was a long ass time for that note. <laughs> Sometimes. We're all the pencils. That was you, Hayden. Oh, snappers. I'm gonna guess it's from. Damn, you're very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I I would be done. Logan, guess who? Logan, guess who? <laughs> the hell? Rachel asked me to get her belt. I right. guess it's in the other room. I was going to say, hopefully I don't ruin this by like, just walking over there. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Uh, Liam is... Pray, oh boy. Okay, there's just a bunch of things. What's your names? Woohoo! Nothing. All right. What's that? Oh, poster. Gotcha. All right, let's grab this belt. Uh, I think that's it. I think we've done everything we need to in here. Grab the belt. Grab, grab the belt, Luigi. That's not a belt. It's a picture of her and her dad. Rachel looks so happy here. Just a picture of me and my dad for some reason. Like as in Chloe and her dad, <laughs> not me as in Chris. Grab the belt! There's Rachel's belt. The belt? This looks like that looks like a thing of duct tape. Guess Where I'll go get, give this to Tom? Rachel now. No secrets, no secrets. Alright. Here we go, Rach. Swear to god, if you're naked, this is gonna get weird. Uh Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to her, I guess? I don't know. Throw it over. What if it hits her? There you go. There you go. Maybe don't sneak up on her. That's weird. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? No. Just the belt. <laughs> <laughs> How about a belt instead? <laughs> Perfect. Wink. I'll let you finish changing now. No, stay. I know how this ends. Part of me was Chloe a little bit Christ. concerned for nudity for Rachel a second there. Amber? <coughs> but I was like, oh yeah, they're, they're kids. <laughs> that was amazing. Talk was pretty good. Getting attacked. Yeah, let's go with that one. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you means, like to but... join me on a little field trip? <laughs> Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. <clears throat> I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? I'll write with pride. Your word with silence, I'll honor you with another. Nah, really. Are you good. kidding? This is a badge wow! of honor. I'll wear it like a badge of honor. Respect. That's all a Game of Thrones thing. Let's get the hell out of here. Where to? Skipping class? Bad News Bears. Just hoping to see what happened with uh, Victoria giving her the wrong answers. Ha, <laughs> what a loser. Ah. Uh... <gasps> this place! This is the same place where uh, Max got the, uh, sure the thing to save Chloe. The bus, nope. We're, we're train. We're like stuck with the train. Right. I really gotta pee. Well, <laughs> what the hell am I getting into here? <clears throat> I'm gonna jump on the cart there. Why is that door even open? That seems really foolish. 
or two. Yeah, what the hell? Did they just forget to close this? Who knows? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Oh, interesting. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Yeah, you're right, it is. Rachel hmm. wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Uh, good, there's more stuff here. Um, so the me says they all of me to school. Um, Max, have I ever told you about Nathan Prescott, aka Spoiled Dick Baby? Anyway, you know that that old question about what if you go back in time and assassinate Hitler? Well, I worry I just stopped that assassination when I got between Nathan and that speaking by Drew, the football jock, an all around angry teenager. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. So with the LA2, he was super nice as always, wanted to hang out as always, and I was non committal as always. Poor guy, he's super persistent, it must be hard to. Uh, it must be hard trying to give a shit about me. Speaking of giving a shit, I actually played a game with Steph and Mikey this morning. It wasn't terrible, but I'm not sure I have the energy to consistently care that much about anything. I probably should be concerned about how little I'll give a shit these days, but that would mean giving a shit, wouldn't it? Chloe the Catchway too. Max, what you're thinking? You're thinking, when is she finally gonna uh, talk about Rachel Amber? Fine, you nosy bitch. Here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school, and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning, when she pulled me in the drama lab and asked me... Uh, asked uh, for my expert opinion about the true love in front of the whole class. I told her to whole class was like three people there <laughs> I told her love is bullshit. Of course, mr. Keaton the drama teacher actually seemed to agree with me Then Rachel brought me into her dressing room gotta say that was the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to get it to helping them get dressed But that's Rachel. She doesn't give a fuck. She just lets it all hang out and Then Rachel hatches crazy plot for us to go out and skip school together involves dropping on a train You know like kids ditch school in the 60s the 1860s <laughs> Stay tuned next. I have a feeling there will be a lot more to tell you soon. Chloe love doctor. Love doctor uh, Rachel This guy Rachel Amber. She's like trying to find the right words I've been trying to find the right words since we met uh, the crazy thing about Rachel is I really should hate her guts. I mean, she's a straight-A student, beloved by everyone at school, including students and teachers. She's super into acting, and I hear she even does modeling on the side, which I imagine... Oh, that's... that's foreboding, the modeling thing. Haha, <laughs> definitely don't think that gets her killed or anything. She's super into acting and uh, does modeling on the side, which I imagine her district attorney dad from uh, Stafford housewife mom support her in. Um, <clears throat> sounds like a recipe for awfulness, and yet Rachel somehow is nothing like the privileged golden child type you'd expect. She is not like any type, actually. She's probably the most surprising person I've ever met. And that's not just because we met when she was helping me take down some skeevy assholes at the rock show, but that's just... Uh, but it's just this feeling she gives off. Like, when you're with her, anything is possible. That's right, meow. Fuck it, it really sounds like I have a crush on her, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, here's hoping she reveals something really horrible about herself soon, like a stamp collection or a love for cat memes, something to make her a little less indes indescribably awesome. Well, we shall see. What do you want, Elliot? I'm with Drew. People are saying you were. Wait, what? When I'm with Drew, people are saying you were awesome. You little suckling. Oh, right, that's the. Uh... Right, that's that's the dude. Okay, so oh, no, these are in order, aren't they? So far, how did I miss four things already? Good lord, man. David shit. Oh, we missed. We had to have missed that, right? Moving canvas. That's definitely the train. Dead white guy. Cool. Looks like we're getting to the end of this. this these are longer than I thought they'd be. I thought this would be like, you know, five part at most. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the best way to support me, to leave a like, subscribe, and channel if you haven't already. Next time, we'll uh, just check out what's going on. See what Rachel has to say and why she's going crazy all of a sudden. Um, love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.